This is the mod mic wireless from Antlion. And if I can be honest at the top here, it kind of blew me away. This modular mic, you guessed it, basically turns any device into a high quality broadcast headset. As you can see here, I've attached it to my Quest to be used for streaming and recording my voice while I'm inside the headset. The magic to the mod mic is its neodymium N45 strength magnets that let you easily swap this mic from your Questicles to your favorite pair of over the ear headphones to use for voice chat while flat screen gaming. To attach the mod mic, grab the included alcohol strip and first clean the surface of your desired device. Then pull out one of the two magnetic clasps found in the case. Now remove the protective layer on the back side to reveal the 3M sticky and then with the microphone attached, press and hold them both in position for one minute as to solidify their bond to your device. Antlion does suggest to leave them attached at least one hour before your first use. The mod mic connects to your computer wirelessly with its USB dongle that uses Aptix technology to transmit a full 16-bit 48kHz high quality audio signal with a 20Hz to 20kHz frequency response range for all you audio nerds out there. To make this even more impressive, it has a nearly imperceivable 34 milliseconds of latency which is 5 times faster than most Bluetooth devices. So this dongle is more than just a Bluetooth receiver. The one caveat here is that the dongle will need to be in line of sight of your microphone, but they included a USB extension cable along with an adhesive cable anchor so you don't have to use up your front ports or make a mess on your desk. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the mic to record the audio for this entire video. Are you impressed? Let me know in the comments below. And while we're here, let's do a quick comparison of my Rode Studio mic that I usually use for these unextended, ubiquitous videos. The quickly quivering Quest microphone that is on board the headset. And now back to the magical magnetic mod mic wireless. You may have noticed a little switch near the windscreen mic capsule. That switch swaps between an omnidirectional mode which gives you a wider frequency response range if you have a quieter, more suitable audio environment. If you need a little background noise reduction, swap over to the crispier unidirectional mode that focuses the sound on what's in front of the mic. Personally, I'm a fan of the Dixie Chick, so I like it wide open and omni. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of needing to mute, you can tap the side button for a one-touch mute which is then reflected in a red light visible on the mic and the USB dongle so you can see when you are or aren't muted. Unlike some wireless mics, you are able to still use it while it's charging via the included micro USB cable. I will say this does force you to place the mic on the right side of whatever device you put it on, so if you do need to charge it, the cable hangs straight down rather than that awkward cable hangover. I'm usually a left side mic guy, but the right side is starting to grow on me. It will take about 12 hours of playtime before needing to grab that charging cable. Lastly, you can use the mod mic wireless on Windows, Mac, Linux, and the PlayStation 4 and 5. Sorry, no bueno for Xbox, unfortunately. You can add the mod mic wireless to your VR streaming arsenal for $130. Like I said at the beginning, I was thoroughly impressed with the audio quality and the ability to swap so seamlessly between my Quest for VR streams and then my headphones for regular gaming. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll answer them in the comments below. And of course, I'll catch you in the next quickie.